So hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Three Men in a Basement. This is the haul from our Three Men in a Basement winter fall crawl. Huge, successful day, uh, and I had no part in putting it all together. That could belong to this man over here to the other side, uh, and he'll tell you where our four stops were on this great day. Chin, where were our four stops? We had four amazing stops. We started up in Hudson, New Hampshire at Richard's Comics with Mod and Bard Comics. They combined together for us. Uh, so thank you, Jim. Thank you, Richard. Our second stop was Comically Speaking in North Reading, Massachusetts. Thank you, Patrick, for letting us swing by in there. Uh, our third stop was My LCS, Counterplay Comics. Uh, can't thank Eric and Amy enough for opening the doors for us. And then uh, our very last stop was down in Bellingham, Mass, Rubber Chicken Comics. And thank you very much, Jay, uh, for having us come through. And all four stops, we got some great stuff. We got some great stuff and we got some great footage and you guys got to watch this footage before you get to the haul video, but we're doing it all in one video. So don't go anywhere. See you back in six minutes. crawl you gotta find a pub right I guess we're crawling it I guess we're crawling right here like you, you would you would think we'd be hungry for comics and then this guy shows up <laughs> so this is what happens during our comic crawls some at some point you end up in a bar or multiple bars all right you guys so you watched the footage I wish I took more it's somewhere buried in my comics but a lot of other t people took footage and photos and everything. So if you want to follow along, you can use the hashtag 3MIB Winter Crawl or um, just 
check back on our Instagram page. We were live all the time. So first stop was Richard's Comics. Oh, wait a second, dude. Did you ever pick the brother up? I was the only one that waited with the brother. I, know, I think he's still there, dude. He might be. He's still I'll, there. Two I'll weeks later, we're still up in, he's still up in New Hampshire, dude. Yeah, some people might have uh, left their siblings behind. Yeah, unbelievable. Some people are into that, though. Real, real piece of work. So Richard's Comics was really awesome. Amazing discounts that he gave us. And there was stuff all over the place. And I actually forgot because there was something that I wanted to buy off the wall. Like he had a couple prints on the wall that I'm going to next time I go there, I'm going to make an offer. And I can't wait to go back there. There was some really cool stuff. And uh, people started rolling in. It was about a two-hour drive for us to get up there. Uh, and people got up there by nine o'clock. Chin, we had how many people? I, you think? Uh, I'm gonna say by nine thirty, easy 20 30 guys. 20 30 guys, guys like yeah. Buzz Comics, um, Lunch Money Comics, Big Daddy John Ross. Who else were some of the other players yeah. that showed up? Chin? Biohazard, Planet Mayhem. Yep. Uh, I mean, they I mean, the brother, uh, the brother shows who, up, who's right? Still absolutely. There. All the way, uh, all the way from Ohio, my boy Adam Beamer. Yeah. Beam shows up. Fett comes. Uh, had, Roger had, came up. So we had uh, we had people from all over, which is the point of this: getting people together and checking out some awesome shops. Yep, so. absolutely. So you know, with the first stop, it's a very dangerous stop because when you go on our crawls, you got four more stops, three more, three or four more stops. You don't know where the deals are, so you got to budget your money. And I typically do that. I like to have an idea of what I'm going to spend per store. Um, I know I screwed up somewhere along the way, but I bought an album, a book, and some other stuff that I can't find, but I'll show you guys later. But I picked this up because I couldn't pass this up. Uh, this was my first pickup. This is the Batman soundtrack done by Prince. And this is, I believe, I think this is pretty much a first print, 1989. Uh, the album is amazing. It's not in here right now because I was spinning it the other day. The main two reasons I wanted it was, one, it's all done by Prince. Uh, I'll make it three. Two, it does have Party Man on it which is a great Prince song. I absolutely love it. And uh, even the voiceovers by Jack Nicholson, and it is great. And then at the end, they do a super mix called Bat Dance. And uh, no, it's not the Bat Dance that you remember from Adam West. Um, it's got it's, it's got lots of mixes and stuff like this. And this was all done by Prince. Um, and I really, I'm pretty much, I'm not a vinyl guy, but this was a first print. Anytime I see that record, I just think Batman soundtrack, throw it. And if you understand that reference, let me know down below in the comments. Love it. All right. Nice. Uh, so I picked that up. I picked up one book there, or maybe two, if I can find it. I just had it. Uh, I got this at a great price. I wasn't going to let this go, uh, especially now, as hot as it is. Um, I, you know, it's not a 9 8 candidate, but it's definitely a pressable book. And it's a good read if you don't have a raw one. So I picked this up for the collection. I wasn't going to let that go. And. I made a parking lot deal, but I, I'll show that later. So that's really what I think I really got. Cause I think I, as I, I, as I remember the day I was saying hi to everybody, greeting everybody, taking footage, which I don't know where it went. So I'm going to end it right there. And Chin, I'll let you talk about what you picked up. I'll go. Yeah. Like I said, first off was Richard comics along with modern bard comics by Jim, who was running the whole shop for us. Uh, thank you again, guys. He, they hooked us up big time on these deals. Uh, I'm not going to show everything I got because Throughout the whole day, I, I filled up a short box of stuff. Um, my, I, you know, highlight this guy, man. <laughs> you didn't you know, do it you, for me. So. You get to, yeah, you get to do it to me now. Perfect. All right, there we go. Uh, no, my goal for the day was to ch show some people some awesome shops, hang out and see my friends. And then my goal for like buying wise was to buy some stuff for the PC and buy some stuff that, hey, maybe I can, you know, sell or trade, which I made a trade that day, which was great. Good move. Yep. Uh, Roger wasn't happy about it, but it worked out. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just go through. I'm not going to show everything, but uh, I will tell you the total, what I spent at the end of the day for everything. Okay. And the total is great, but literally just digging through, like. You know, first fire, uh, first uh, Killer Frost. Yeah, I got that book in the spinner rack right over here. Right there, first Satana on cover. Oh. You know, a lot of nice stuff. I got a, I got a Watchman. Was it? Where is it? Number one. This is gonna be a mess too. So sorry, guys. Watchman. I got like the whole set. Uh, so you know, just literally dig. This was like their discount bins. You know, uh, for you boys fans, I didn't get a number one, but I got a bunch of. 
bunch of boys keys and stuff. It was great. You know, whole stack of those. Nice set. At, some of these aren't even bagged and boarded yet because I haven't gone through everything. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, but I got a whole set of Crisis Infinite Earths. Did you really? Whole set. 1 to 12. And it looks like, you know, they're a little warped, but uh, they're actually in really nice shape, which is awesome. <laughs> Uh, those still the original bags and boards they might be yeah okay uh the bigger books uh i will never say no to a nice boost of gold oh, i mean i had this book uh 10 times over but i love it uh and one of the books i picked up for me for my pc that i've been really wanting a little ff66 oh look at you oh, going great, with the great. ff marvel yeah. stuff oh yeah you know i mixed it up dc marvel some independent uh but then I also got like another half of short box full of stuff between a bunch of Spider-Man books, a bunch of other stuff. Um, and I was shocked by how much he gave me for a total. And it was just awesome. I picked up a lot of great books. Nice. So I was very happy with that first stop. So thank All you right. again, Richard. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, no, that was that was a good one. That was a really that was fun to see. Definitely going to go back. Mm -hmm. uh and it was quick to get there and then we'll find out what else is around there you guys but uh we forgot to pay the bills so maybe you guys can like this video uh hit the notification bell whenever you want subscribe uh please leave a comment down below have you been to some of these shops were you in attendance uh let us know and then remember you guys we do have our events coming up i did talk about that and just so you guys know we are sponsored by our good friends at spine works new york's nyc okay so second stop was comically speaking and yep, in Reading, Massachusetts, North Reading. Reading, Mass. A great mm -hmm. store. Um, tons of stuff on the wall. Uh, amazing toy store downstairs. Uh, lots of vinyl, lots of oddities. And this was a store that you, it reminded me of, you don't remember this movie, but it was it reminded me of Empire Records back in the day. I love that movie. Gotta get I don't out of here. remember that movie. Out. You were in second grade when it came out. Doesn't mean I don't know it. <laughs> good point good point drew that drew that yeah. one of those stores where you could just go up and down the bins and as you're going up and down the bins you look up and there's somebody you know go two more down look up there's somebody you know and that was what really really fun about the um about the crawl because you don't know what people are looking for and you're like oh that's cool or i forgot about that book and it was just the interaction of knowing that hey listen you're going to a place with you know you're going to be looking for your own stuff with all your friends around you so that was really really neat um, so we spent almost two hours there between that and the toy store, and, and then we spilled out pub, over up across the street. Yeah, and then we spilled out <laughs> to the Irish pub, and all of a sudden the people are like, well, "What are you guys all doing here?" We're like, oh, "We're buying comics." What? Mm -hmm. Yep. And in 20, 20, 30 minutes, we're gonna eat, drink, and be out of here. So, uh, now do did you pick up anything there, Chen? I picked up a few. And like you said, it's we have four stops, so you got to budget yourself. Um, so I. Uh, I, I didn't buy too much here, uh, like I said, because he's got so much stuff. It's kind of hard to choose. Uh, I know a lot of guys. I know uh, Christopher Briggs made an awesome trade with him. A lot of guys picked up some great stuff. Uh, I actually picked up two. I'm not a Funko Pop collector by any means. Get out of uh, here. But I am a uh, Gambit collector. Oh. He gave us buy one, get one on his uh, Funko Pops. So I bought two Gambit Funko Pops. Nice. Good that move. Was, uh, that was my whole purchase there. Um, but yeah, thank you again, Patrick. Awesome store for you in the ever in the area. He's got a half off sale coming up. Uh, I think it's the first or second weekend in April. If you check them Love out on half social off media, sales. so everything in the store is half off. So check them out. All right, and then nice. uh, we hit the pub and we then we hit my LCS counterplay yep. comics, counterplay comics. And just so you guys know, there was a tournament going on there during the day. So it was probably three ish by the time we hit counterplay. Was that on our timeline? Right around two thirty, three o'clock. Yeah, uh, right, right, right. We were. I want everybody to know. You guys think we just go and we do this? This is this is timed down to the fifteen minute window of. All right, let's go meet you at the next spot. All right, meet you at the next spot. It like, depends on who's planning it. Yeah, I like, know. You know what? When Roger plans it, it doesn't sound so smooth. But you know what? I think <laughs> I do a good job. Um, so. But yeah, so this place, Counterplay Comics, your In typical Burlington, LCS. Yep. Uh, where was it, Chin? What town? Burlington, Massachusetts. Burlington, Mass. Okay. Uh, while I was there, I was able to pick up two back issues that I didn't own. I missed out on Duke 1 and 2, and they had them there. And let me tell you, I'm going to get a little sidetracked when I tell you this Energon universe, this Duke and Cobra Commander. If I thought that I enjoyed um, King Kong versus Godzilla versus Justice League, I am enjoying this as equally. And it's fun. 
to read stuff right off the rack as it comes out. It brings back the nostalgia of waiting for a comic book to come out or waiting for a certain episode um, in this day and age, you know, with binge watching and just dropping the omnibuses, you know, it's really, really fun for the anticipation. Um, so let me go first. Go for it. So I'm not going to highlight you. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to cut you off. Go quick. Go. All right. I'm ready. I'm not highlighting you. Just go. Oh, geez, I'll do it myself. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Jesus. All right. All right. So um, knowing I was going to meet um ron um, rudat in a week i have slowly been admiring these super seven figures so there was a few of them and of course i had well i have to get one of my favorite villains cobra commander okay i love the retro cards yeah the retro cards are amazing ron rudat had never seen these before when i was showing it to him um let me show so then you guys know i'm very linear so i saw Storm Shadow. And if I see Storm Shadow, which you have Storm Shadow, you must have Snake Eyes. I do have this quasi Storm Shadow Snake Eyes. I've got the figures from, um, you know, when I was a kid. I've got the Funko Pop signed by Larry Hama. Now I have these. And, you know, these will work on getting signed by somebody and eventually be in a whole Cobra display. But, you know what? We all need a bad girl in their life. And if Jean Grey is my good girl, Baroness is my bad girl so i had ron rudat sign that right there he really liked the design uh, i told her about my infatuation with him he goes why wouldn't you that's why i drew her that way perfect all right so pick that up and along with the toys i saw this guy how dare the juggernaut we got fist pump in action be left for 4.99 so i grabbed that i actually think he threw this in he goes i'll just throw that in for you and uh i did pick up some books And shout out to Robbie on Instagram. Um, no, no, actually, it was Jesse. It was Jesse. So Planet, Planet Mayhem. Mayhem. Planet Mayhem was like, Otto, you need those tick books. I'm like, dude, I love the tick character. So these books, are they were like behind a rack. And then, you know, I like it to be easy. So it was one and twos, a bunch of one and twos. And then it was, and I'll show it to you, but I want to try to oh, loot. It was two. Three, four, five, no six. Uh, so six, seven, ten, eleven. And it was so I thought it was two copies of number one, which was like the second and third print right here. And I'm gonna show those other books. So I was like, all right. And then in the next bag was this book. And I'm like, wait a second, there's something going on back here. And little did I know. It was double bagged and boarded. It was this tick. And I think this is the fifth print. If you guys know how many prints there are of these, or if I'm wrong by saying this is second, fourth, and fifth, or second, third, and fifth, please let me know in the comments below. There's, there's a lot but, of prints of those first early ones. They definitely did. And you know what's really cool about it? When you open it up, it tells you on the first page, on the title page, it tells you why they decided to do a next print of it, whether or not people enjoyed it or something happened. So... Pick those up. How can you not think the Tick is an amazing character? With a battle cry like Spoon. Made right here in Massachusetts. Yes, absolutely, which was really neat. And then here's the other Tick books, just to show you some of the covers. I'm glad you picked those up. He's had those for a little bit, so I'm glad you got you got all of them. Yeah, I'm, so I must I got to go back and get the other one. So been digging getting these complete sets. I read issue one. Um, haven't had a chance to read issue two. But that's been fun. So that was my haul, and that was exactly what I wanted to spend at this store. So I was right in my ballpark for my spending. So, and I'll let you guys know um, how much I spent when we're done. All right, Chen. Uh, so yeah, this is my uh, this was my LCS. Uh, Eric and Amy are awesome. Counterplay Comics, Burlington, Mass. Um, we walked in. Uh, he put out some special bins for us, and he gave us like a nice discount across everything. Uh, I did not realize how nice of bins he was putting out for us. And he gave us amazing deals. Um, check out Lunch Money uh, channel. I believe he's going to have some comments to say about the bins and the stuff that he got in there as well. Yep. Um, but like I said, I wanted stuff for my PC and I wanted stuff for like some trade and selling. So of course I'm going to start with Princess Leia Star Wars. Oh, of that course. Polybagged with the card in there and everything. So why not? Right. Uh, but no, I got some whole sets of Star Wars, which is great. You know, Logan's run number one, 
Uh, this is pretty cool. This is X Men '96 French Canadian edition. I didn't know you bought that. Oh yeah, I you should. You don't see. collect X Men. I I love X Men. You don't uh, actively collect X Men like I actively collect X Men. Well, maybe we'll talk. Maybe we'll make a trade. Maybe that's oh, why I got it. Go. All right, look at that. Uh, always thinking ahead. Always one step ahead. Oh yeah, but no, I like I said, I, this is literally just maybe half of what I actually picked up there. Uh, love this Moon Knight cover. I love it. Love it. Absolutely. That looks yeah. slab worthy, but you don't slab your books. Isn't that, uh, power pack number one book I never had. Yeah. You know, why not? Great story. Wheezy. This is, this is not the first print. This is a reprint. I was going to say that looks very, the colors look off, but uh, it's in beautiful shape, uh, but it's a nice book. So I picked it up. You know, there's another X-Men book for you, Otto. Was this 91, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 91. I, right now. Uh, I, I picked this up. Somebody. Dynamic Forces signed by Greg Capullo right there. Oh, love it. Boom. Uh, these, after everybody went through the discount bins, I went back at the end of it, and these were still in there. So I picked up. How dare they? Number one, both of them. One of the best Batman runs ever. That's the Finch cover, isn't it? That's David Finch. Uh, did that. Van Skyver. Okay. Van Skyver. But, you know, Gold Spidey. Can't say no to that. First, was this was all first... left in there? Oh, yeah. First Scream. TMNT. Uh, Destroyer Duck, number one. Great book. <laughs> Huge book. Massive oh, book in a high yeah. grade. And then these were some of the... Uh, these When I say these were kind of big, these were some pretty big stuff. I got the entire set of Punisher, one to five. Yeah. Which are oh, yeah. very high grades. Yeah. I've never owned this set, so I think I'm, I'm probably going to end up keeping this set, which I love. Uh, That's my favorite we, cover right there. This one? Four. Four? Yeah. Uh, th yeah that's then I actually got a pretty cool cover. A number one as well, plus yep. a new stand of War Journal, number nice. one. Plus new stand She-Hulk. And yep. then these two, I could not believe they were in there. Hulk 340. <laughs> beautiful shape. How many people do you think went through these boxes before you? Uh, th so these, this one I got, this was in my first go around. This is oh, okay, I'm, like, gotcha. I'm okay. stopping digging. I'm letting everybody else dig. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then this was the other one, but new stand GI Joe number one. Great it's not book. a nine eight, but it's high grade. High grade. And is it all right? Yeah. There we go. Oh, plus a spawn in there. Ah, look at that. I pick but, it up. Yeah. Uh, he's Eric and Amy at Counterplay have amazing deals like this all the time. So if you're ever in the area, check it out. They he's always got amazing walls. He's got toys, comics, records gaming a little bit of everything oh yeah big daddy john ross this is one of those things when you see an oddity this is sometimes where you need to pick it up because this has happened multiple occasions to me on multiple times where mm -hmm. i've been on one of these and i thought this was pretty cool and i'll say all right i'll get that on my go around and you know what just because i think it's cool doesn't mean somebody else doesn't think it's cool and they decide to pick it up so the movie time bandits was a, you know an older movie that came out when i was younger and uh it was a Monty Python movie. It was corny and funny, but it was part of my childhood. But it was there in Laserdisc. And if you guys don't even know what Laserdisc is, it was before DVDs and whatever. And it was really neat. And the bot and, the, and it's larger than an um, it's larger than a uh, album. And the artwork is really amazing of the ship itself. And I look back and it's gone. And I'm like, who would buy that? And of course, and then Big Johnny, uh, Big Daddy John Ross standing right behind me going. I would be me. And I was like, damn. See, that's he what picked, I'm talking about. So, he picked up a lot of great stuff. I think Roger, picked up a lot picked up of great a, stuff. Uh, All right. Roger picked up a bunch of Kiss uh, glasses and stuff Kiss like that. Kiss glasses, so. yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So then we went to Rubber Chicken, right? Yeah, and then we were on our way to Rubber Chicken with the expectation that we were going to go get something to eat afterwards, which, which was did. fun. So we already ate lunch together, and now we're going to go have dinner together because now it's probably – five o'clock when we were going to rubber chicken uh no we were down there probably by like four thirty, five o'clock yeah right around there okay. yeah yeah five yeah. o'clock all right so i had made a deal with triton comics a while ago um to get some early justice league raws um because i want to get the whole set one through 12 if not more uh my number one that i have my jla one has resto on it and until i find a 4.0 to match my brave in a bowl 28 i'm just going to keep it raw so i'm like you know what let me go after the set uh, Triton Comics was like, hey, I picked this whole setup. Do you want to make a deal for it? So I picked up JLA's, a stack of them, and it is JLA 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a really nice. I'll show you later. Nine, 10, 11, 12, Dr. Light, 13, 15, 18, uh, 17, I'm sorry, and 19. So I'll probably get the first 20. That's just nuts. And again, you know, in newer Ooh, bags. Look, but they look have, at that. That's first Kandra Row. Those are great books. Yeah. You know, um, right here, Dr. Light is in here. So can't wait to dig into these, read these. I have this one. Uh, some of these I already have. A uh, little bit of better shape, like I said. And I knew what I was getting into. Like, this is the best one. Look at this. This one's in oh, good shape. Look at that cover, too. Yeah, classic, right? Yeah. So I knew what I was getting into with these. And we made a deal on the Oops. price. And we were both very happy. Dr. Light, love this character. I love this book. And then we'll get going. So uh, that was what I picked up during our last stop. All right? Very nice. Yep. I picked up uh, three things at our last stop, which I put right next to me. I picked up a Starlog number four magazine, which happens to be a very, very early reference of a movie called Star Wars. Never so, heard of it. I, all right. Uh, and I picked up this guy right here. You know, I like my turtles and I love Casey Jones. Been wanting this figure for a while. Uh, he had a very fairly price, price, plus he gave me a nice discount. Uh, then the last thing I bought was actually a set of comics, one, two, and three. Now, I have number one, but it's really beat up and messed up. Uh, these ones are all seven, five plus. Really? Uh, but I got the entire set of Men in Black, one, two, and three. I've always seen these. I've never Who's picked this up. Th three's right there. Two's right behind one. Um, is that the first appearance of K? This and J. This is the first Men in K Black. K and J. Those are their first appearances. K and J. Yeah. Wow. All right. Very first Men in Black in comics. Uh, very wild. So I was very, very happy to own those. Uh, finally owned the whole set. So I was very, very happy. So thank you very much, Jay, down at Rubber Chicken. Um, awesome stuff. All right. Uh, also, All right. at the end of the day, really quick, because we we're talking about John Big Daddy Ross there. Uh, thanks, man. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Give to me. This awesome mail away Star Wars monk outside of Jabba's Palace. He was like, Hey, you like Star Wars? The Bomar uh, monk? Yeah. That was hard to get. Yeah, I got it. He just he gave it the box and everything. Yeah. Son of a bitch. So thanks, All man. Right. I appreciate it. It's going right into my collection. Right. Well, he hooked me up too with this uh Foom number six you and right here. And this came from the Super World collection. Um, they had an employee, Jose Rivera, who passed away. So they did a benefit. Um, to uh, to help and raise money for him. So it comes with this little cool sticker that tells the story of Jose. Oh, nice. Uh, man I never met, but everybody I talked to absolutely thought he was one of the greatest. And I've got another Foom for my collection. So slowly working on those Fooms. Uh, but you know what? When your friends know what you collect and you get a little A-OK, -okay, man, it makes it all a little worthwhile, you know? There's a, so, a lot of gifting and trading and stuff all day. It was an awesome day hanging with everybody, so absolutely right awesome. right absolutely all right fellas so this is the haul video you know we've got tons of things coming up which is uh, real quick real quick what you spend auto what was your total oh oh, oh 340 dollars. 340 for everything 340. yep 340 for everything uh i had everything that i shown plus literally uh half a short box if not more yeah 369 dollars on everything Woo! hot damn yep hot damn there you go yeah great deal I great day Great, yep, great, day, great deals. I yeah, I, I spent I spent right around the hundred per store, and then with Triton, I spent one hundred and forty for those JLAs, which was fine because that's less than ten dollars a book, a little bit, yeah, somewhere around there. So what a deal! Um, so guys, just so you know, we've got tons of things coming up. I talked about that in the beginning of the video, um, but remember, this is you know on our behalf. So we do have our three men in the basement comic book swap coming up May eighteenth. We do have want to give a shout out to our pedigree sponsor who was Sweet Gems. We've got tons of 10.0 sponsors. We've got lots of 9.0 sponsors. Uh, this is incorrect. I think we've got four or five spots left. So if you guys are interested in sponsoring us, let us know. And um, if that's not your case, then maybe we can do, we also have friends of the channel opening up in about a week and a half. But um, again, this is, we don't make much money on, we would make any money on a 3MIB swap. This just covers our cost, our insurance and everything like that. So please reach out. So um Hope you're watching this video. Comment, share, like it. Enjoy your weekend. Shin, what do you got to say? Uh, yeah, I had an awesome time. It was a little stressful planning, but we got it. It was a great day. Loved it. Um, loved seeing everybody. Thank you again to all the shops. Um, 
I'm excited. We got a bunch of shows coming up too. We got the three MIB swap. We got CliffCon end of March. Yep. We got KingCon beginning of April. Yep. And we got Little Giant middle of April. So it's uh, going to be a couple great weeks and I can't wait to see everybody again. Yep. Start saving that money, boys and girls and everybody else. All right. So on behalf of 3MIB, this has been our 3MIB winter fall crawl haul video. Tongue twister. I didn't screw that up. Peace out. See you guys.